a few weeks ago, Jesse yelled for me. She's on the other side of the house. She yelled for me, Dad! And I could tell it was, a, it was not a hurt yell. It was a scared yell. And at that point, I go into cyborg mode. I'm like, you know, and I'm running towards the other end of the house. Y'all think I'm playing. I gunned up. I was on the other end of the house. I was ready because it sounded like somebody was trying to mess with her. And I got to the other end of the house. I said, what's going on? She goes, somebody's tapping on my window right now. And I was like, well, somebody's fist to die. I know enough about Texas law. Let them come inside first. I should have said that. Hey, I will pop a cap and then pray later. Amen. Hey, I'll pop a cap and then be like, all right, let's meet you. Fix the meeting. So let's give your life to Christ right now. Uh, Guys, I don't know what's happening to this service. I apologize. This will not be the podcast. But um, I sat there and I listened and I could hear it. Duncan, I could hear something hitting the window, but it was sporadic. And I started laughing. She was like, what are you laughing at? Like, it was a little bit maniacal. Like, (laughs) she was like, are you fixing to go crazy on somebody? I was like, no, just listen. It was like, tap, 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 tap. She was like, what is it? It's not raining. I was like, I know. And I reached over and I turned her light off that was right up against the window. And all of a sudden, the bugs stopped hitting the window. I said, Jess, it was was bugs. She was like, thanks, Dad. I figured that out. And we laughed about it, but here's what I love about it. I love that when she didn't know what it was, she didn't understand the nature of the threat. She just knew it wasn't something she understood. She knew who to call, and she exposed her fear to the one who could help her with it. And the challenge is some of us have bugs tapping on the window, and we're acting like we're fine, but we're filled with fear when if we would just give it to God, he could walk in and turn that light off and go, that's all it was. You don't have to worry. But some of us have lived with worry for so long because we don't know who to run to. We don't know how much we should share. We don't know who to be honest with. And at some point, you've got to admit, God, I do not have it all together. I don't understand. Listen, he'll tell you what you need to be concerned about and what you don't need to be concerned about. He's already told us what to do with our concern. Cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. 